Good evening and welcome to the 2020-21 Torah Academy Gala Dinner. Welcome. Tonight, just a, a quick note, uh, we were told we were six feet apart. That's true. We measured tw Daryl twice to make sure we were six feet apart, so we're good. So we're six feet apart. We were told we do not need a mask up tonight, so uh, please mask up all the time out there. For those of you who don't know me, I am Daryl Binsky, and I am the parent of three CTA students, an eighth grader, a sixth grader, and a fourth grader. I hope I got that right. And uh, I'm an alumnus, uh, eighth grade class of 1986. 1986? Yes, yes, 86. Whoa. <laughs> I realized you were old. I didn't know you were that old. It's true. It's true, Yoni. Did, wait, did you, did, did you walk two miles uphill to school and two miles uphill? Both ways. Away from Both school? Ways. In the snow? In the snow, in the snow. In awesome. Fact, when I was there, they didn't, awesome, even, they didn't even have high schools. Wow. Uh, you know, when we graduated, we all took a, a day job. I was a chimney sweep. Oh. I am Yoni Zofan. I also graduated from CTA, eighth grade class of 1996, high school class of 2000. By the time I was there, Daryl, we had a high school. We were a full real school. That's nice. All right. I am the proud father of two CTAers. Avi is in fourth grade alongside Evan, and Zach is in second grade. And we welcome everyone to tonight's dinner. Um, we have prepared a statement absolving certain people of responsibility for anything we uh, say tonight. Our any comments or compliments are the sole opinions of the two of us, nobody else. Our wives have loosely been informed of some of our thoughts and, uh, and, pla and plans and assume no responsibility whatsoever. Uh, when we offend someone tonight, and we certainly will, Please do not hold that against our wives, any of the three dinner co-chairs, anyone on the planning committee for the dinner, our auction co-chairs, our fabulous auction co-chairs, Shauna Bagelman or Ariella Nudis. Please don't hold Charlie Hartsagi responsible, President Bob Wolf responsible, or Rabbi Drandoff. I think that covers everybody. Though. I think it is, although Rabbi Drandoff invited us to do this. so That's, that's fair. So a touch. It, he, a touch, he touch comes, responsibility. That, that, that's a bit of responsibility for him, but we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He did not see our notes. <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk a, bit, a little bit tonight about what we're doing here. There, uh, we're raising money. If uh, you're new to CTA, uh, get used to that. It's, uh, it's what we do all the time. But uh, it's uh, super important. There's three ways, three ways we, uh, you can interact with our site tonight. We have our online auction where we have a bunch of items that you can bid on. We have a uh, swag area where you can buy some of the swag that was given away. If you made a donation uh, tonight of $180, you may have already gotten a swag bag. Uh, in my house, uh, we're fighting over the uh, hat. You can buy a hat right now online, but my kids are all fighting over. We only have one. I think my wife probably already got a couple more. So I think you can buy those live right now. You don't even have to bid. Anyone can have them unlimited. They're for sale. And then tonight also, we are trying to raise $1,000 for each night of Hanukkah, $8,000 tonight. Uh, there is a box uh, in the auction area to just to, to give. And if you want to register, you can either text uh, a text message to register to 76278 or just go right there on the toracademy.org slash gala website and you can register right there uh, trying to raise 8,000 extra dollars as a bit of a Hanukkah present for CTA. I'm pulling it up right now. I'm trying to pull it up to see exactly where we're at right now. It's loading. I, I do want to make mention you can also see the, the ad book on the website as well. So there is the event, the, the, the main event that you'll see momentarily. There is the live auction and there is the ad book. We want to thank all of our donors, most especially the Schottenstein family for all and their vendors for all that they do to make tonight possible, to make this school successful, uh, both tonight and in general. We appreciate all of the donors, all of the vendors that have made this entirely possible. Thank you to the Schottenstein family. 100%, 100%, great stuff. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the other things that's going on tonight is we have watch parties going on. You want, Yoni, you want to go to, uh, go to a watch party? Go to the watch party? Yeah, the, the watch parties are, are an exciting app evening. I think we've got 10 different watch parties. They should be oh, on the screen that. right yeah, now. They are. All right, let's see. Uh, you see, I think the, the Schumans are excited. They have chose to wear matching gear. That is uh, very cute. Not happening in my house, but good job, <laughs> Schumans. The nice thing about this, Daryl, we can talk. And the watch parties can't. Yeah. So we can make fun of them unlimited, and they have no way to respond. This is great. This is like a dream come true. 
But I love all these people. Uh, yeah, most of them. <laughs> yeah, most, most. I mean, absolutely. Justin Weprin's on there, too. Yeah, okay, so I love most of them. Okay, good. All right, so you, you guys, we, we do realize that this kind of looks a little bit like a presidential debate, right? But, but we're not here to build walls between us. In fact, we're trying to break down machitas. We're all here for the same goal. We are trying to raise money for CTA. You can do it in any one of three ways. You can give right now. You can go to the auction, or you can buy swag immediately. Um, uh, you know, I, I do want to point out that if we're not happy with the bidding, uh, Daryl and I do reserve the right to break out the shas, break out both sets of the Gemaras that are on that website, and we might filibuster the entire event. It's because we can read the shas. It, it might take us seven and a half years. Just for the first book. Just the book. Just book. the first book. We're slow. With, with us. You know Aramaic? I don't know Aramaic. So we, 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 we hope everyone, everyone, everyone bids. If we get the, the sign from Shari and from Rabbi Drandoff, we will not filibuster, but we reserve that right. All right. I think, I think we're ready to do this. We're almost time for the main event, but you know what? Daryl and I have, have a special treat for all of you guys. We've prepared a top ten list, a la David Letterman. Uh, you, were, you were around when I David would, Letterman was around? Yeah, I was... Yeah, okay. an old man at that point. At, at that point, yeah. So um, the top 10 reasons why a virtual scholarship dinner and online auction are better than the real thing. This is going to be done David Letterman style. Get ready. Top 10 reasons a virtual dinner, scholarship dinner and online auction are better than the real thing. Number 10, here we go. You save so much money on babysitters, you can donate even more tonight. Number 10, you can, you can donate more because of that savings on babysitters. Woo! Number nine, nine reason why the uh, real thing is worse than the virtual event. You can eat the dessert before your meal, and better yet, you can make a dairy. All right. I was going to get a fly on my head tonight. That was even worse. Wow. Number eight, number eight. Now, some of you don't mind doing this in person, but most of you do. Now all of you can obsessively watch your, your, uh, your auction item bidding and hover over it without anyone making you feel subconscious about your, 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 your watching it. Number, Happy seven, Happy number seven, don't have to keep your eyes open while you sleep through Rabbi Drandoff's Devar Torah. Now, to be clear, that's never stopped me before. <laughs> of course. So not. I'll do that on a regular time, but, but most of you are, are a little more respectful than I am. All right, number six, personal favorite of mine. You don't have to listen to Eddie Carmia reminisce about his favorite basketball teams for the umpteenth scholarship dinner in a row. Number five, when you tip the valet driver tonight, they may respond to you, thanks, honey. I think most people got that one. Let's hope so. Number four, you can finally scream, my kid's the best, during the choir performance. And you don't have to maneuver yourself through that, that, that packed gym to gushingly greet your kid before they get chauffeured off on the Bexley beat. Brian Schumann, I know that's for you. We on number three? Number three. Number three. You do not have to listen to your wife or mother or the school CFO complain about how late they stayed up at the school last night setting things up. That's a real problem in your life. I think that, is, that might be number one for Daryl, but for everyone else, it's number three. Number two. This, this one I think we can all appreciate at this point, eight minutes in. Yoni and Daryl. And the number one reason why tonight's virtual gala dinner is better than the real thing, pants are optional. And here we go, off to the live event, everyone. and along with my co-chairs, Rebecca Lefkowitz and Rebecca Schwartz, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2020 Columbus Torah Academy Scholarship Gala. 
We are so glad you can join us this evening from here in Columbus and so many different locales around the world. I am standing center court in the Torah Academy gym where for the last five years we have welcomed nearly 500 guests to our scholarship dinner, but not this year. Instead, due to the pandemic, we have put together a virtual event highlighting the great things going on within the school, while at the same time keeping everyone safe at home. Tonight's program will feature the lower school choir, special honorings, an interactive game, a live auction, and more. Everything in the auction can easily be accessed at TorahAcademy.org slash gala. Most importantly, we hope tonight's program will continue to shine a light on the amazing educational programs within CTA and the wonderful, caring individuals and organizations that lend support to our school. Tonight is a unique one for Torah Academy. First, we celebrate our 62nd year of educational excellence and inspiring community leadership while holding our first ever virtual event. Second, we have the great honor of thanking three major partners who have helped our school face these extremely challenging times with hope and dedication. Our faculty and staff, our medical advisory committee, and Jewish Columbus. Through a challenging dual curriculum, combined with numerous extracurricular activities, our students are being taught an appreciation and understanding of our Jewish values and a love of our American heritage and are building a connection to the state of Israel. Yet, for many families, sending their children to CTA is financially challenging, even more so this year. Thanks to funds raised from the annual scholarship dinner and support from Jewish Columbus, it is possible for many families to send their children to Torah Academy who otherwise could not. The entire community has been challenged financially by the pandemic. Yet, our work at CTA has been made a little less daunting thanks to support from people like you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our head of school, Rabbi Avraham Drandoff, to say a few words. Thank you, Rebecca. Good evening. Welcome to our virtual scholarship gala, and thank you for tuning in. Later this week, we will be celebrating the Festival of Lights, the holiday of Hanukkah. We are told by our sages that olive oil is the preferred choice to kindle the menorah. The standard reasons for the use of olive oil are that its lights burn clearly, and the, menorah, and the miracle of Hanukkah happened with olive oil. Rabbi Yehuda Prera offers another explanation for why olive oil is ideal. The Medjish Rabbah, when discussing the menorah in the Mishkan, it mentions a parable. Rav Avin said it is comparable to a king whose legions rebelled against him. However, one of his legions remained faithful and did not rebel. The king said that this legion that did not rebel, from them I will take for my rulers and governors. And so, so did Hashem say. This olive brought light to the world in the time of Noah. As we see, the dove came and it had an olive branch in its mouth. The Radal explains when exactly the olive did not rebel against God, thus earning it a special place in history. In the time of Noah, the entire world was corrupt. The Talmud Yerushalmi explains that not only did mankind engage in moral, base, and corrupt behavior, but animal and plant world did as well in some form or another. The only plant that withstood the corruption that permeated the entire world at that time was the olive tree. It remained pure. Rabbi Yudha Pereira suggests that perhaps this is another reason why olive oil is the preferred choice on Hanukkah. Hanukkah represents the Jewish people's commitment to the Torah and our values. What could be more appropriate than using the olives that they committed when others did not? This evening, we are celebrating three very special partners. The medical advisory, faculty and staff, and Jewish Columbus, who stay committed to our school to help us not only open our doors this school year, but enable us to offer an excellent education and actualize our mission. The reason to celebrate this evening is because CTA is moving forward. We are educating the Jewish future. To highlight this idea throughout the evening, we will hear from some alumni who reflect on how their CTA experience helped them get to where they are today. 
we came from the former Soviet Union where everything was different. First of all, the language was different, so that was a that that was its own uh, cultural experience. We didn't know anything about the Jewish traditions, the Jewish religion, the customs, so that was definitely an adjustment and a learning experience. I think one of the things about the school that's so unique is that when you come here, you know, you don't just grow a strong academic backbone, but you also grow a community. The other amazing thing is that those people that are our closest friends have children and our children are friends. So these uh, intergenerational bonds are truly a beautiful thing. And, you know, and we do believe that that's something that we can con continue to foster here. I had a great experience here. We actually um, immigrated here when I was in the fourth grade. and. It was quite a culture shock from a lot of different standpoints. Learning a new language, learning a new culture. The other really important thing is really not knowing anything about Judaism at the time when we came. So I think I developed all of that over the years and really had an amazing experience. I made some lifelong friends, learned the foundation of, of uh, my knowledge of Judaism. Well, I, you know, I, I would probably say when we moved to when we moved back to Columbus, um, we did our medical training in Cincinnati. So when we both got jobs in Columbus, we, you know, we were very excited. We were very happy, and um, I mean, it was CTA was kind of a no-brainer. The foundation of Judaism, I think, is is built here, and I want him to uh, build on that to develop. Um, a good knowledge of Judaism and carry that forward with him um, forever for his, for his life. But as soon as we walked through the doors, all these memories started coming back, and I just remember getting this feeling of excitement, like I can't believe, you know, soon enough our our son's gonna come here, and you know, um, our, our kids are gonna come here. The lower school choir is always a highlight of the scholarship dinner, and this year will be no exception. Please sit back and enjoy our lower school choir perform One in a Million by Mordechai Shapiro.
Thank you, Lower School Choir. They will return later in the evening with one more beautiful song. Thank you to choir director Sherry Friedman, along with cantor Jenna Greenberg, for their work with the choir, who practiced virtually and performed flawlessly. We would be remiss if we did not thank and recognize the corporate and individual sponsors of tonight's celebration. The names will roll on your screen and also be shown at the end of the program. Thank you also to our hard-working committee members who gave hours upon hours of time to ensure the success of our gala. A special shout out to our 8th and 12th grade graduating classes who are home at watch parties eating a delicious catered dinner by Hani Kaplan. It is my pleasure to ask Dr. Bob Wolf, President of CTA's Board of Trustees, to say a few words about the help Jewish Columbus has given to our school. I am so happy to be joining you here this evening. Although the event this year is different from past scholarship dinners, the meaning is still the same. Tonight, we would like to give a special recognition to Jewish Columbus for their unwavering support during this stressful and difficult time. CEO Joel Markovich and his team are always available to offer encouragement share knowledge, and since the pandemic began, had a clear understanding of our needs. They have always acted as a trusted and collaborative partner and responded by giving us an emergency grant to get the school reopened. One year ago, our primary concern for the school was security. At that time, Jewish Columbus stepped up to assist us with generous funding for our daily security needs. When the pandemic hit in March of 2020, Jewish Columbus answered our call. In fact, they reached out to us very early on to see how they could help. During the summer, we began to see the mounting costs related to COVID and Jewish Columbus made sure that we were covered and able to reopen the school. Jewish Columbus Community Relief Fund grant money was spent on valuable resources to reopen, including PPE, masks, plexiglass, signage, hands-free plumbing, fixtures, and warming cabinets for a mobile lunch program as well as very big expenditures like extra teaching assistance, more custodial and cafeteria staff, and not to forget the personal technology devices, iPads, laptops, and Chromebooks for every student. Devices to ensure that our students can pivot quickly from in-school learning to virtual learning at a moment's notice. For all these expenditures, we needed the assistance and the Jewish Columbus answered the call. Their support has allowed us to focus on the mission of the school, and that mission is educational excellence delivered in a nurturing learning environment and to make that Jewish day school education at CTA accessible to every family who wants it for their children. Jewish Columbus has been a strong and committed partner and for this we are most grateful. Thank you. Good evening everyone. Rabbi Drandolph, President Wolf, CTA board members, teachers and staff, I'm delighted to join you this evening in accepting a wonderful honor bestowed upon Jewish Columbus. Even though Jewish Columbus was formed two years ago, the legacy of the Federation and Foundation means that our partnership has been for decades before. We are told when Jews settle into a new area and wanting to establish a new community, a mikvah and a synagogue are the first two structures that a community should build. I would add in a modern day interpretation that a day school should be next. 
Jewish Columbus knows how vitally important it is to have a vibrant, viable day school in such a rich and diverse Jewish community like Columbus. It is clear to us that you cannot have a strong and vibrant Jewish Columbus without a strong and vibrant day school. We are so proud of the academic achievement and love for Torah Midot and mitzvahs that CTA teaches the next generation of proud Jews. As you're all well aware, Jewish Columbus contributes $1,400 per year for every child in the school, as well as pays for the security officer who greets and protects your children every day. Your safety and security is vitally important to us, hence why during this period we knew that opening up the day schools and making them incredibly safe was paramount to parents in order to secure their employment as well as for the children to continue their learning. We were proud to allocate an additional $146,000 to CTA to take care of the additional opening costs that CTA incurred and we stand ready to allocate more dollars if needed. That is the power of partnership and the power of the Jewish Columbus Annual Campaign. On behalf of Bobby Schottenstein, the current board chair, Orgy Tuckerman, incoming chair, and the rest of the board of Jewish Columbus, we wish you Mazel Tov on tonight's event, and to everyone associated with the school, and for all the incredible work that goes on making the CTA thrive, we thank you. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, Avi Khan here, CTA Class of 2015. Here in Beit Shemesh, Israel, at the Video Spark Studio, prepping for a commercial shoot in Tel Aviv for a cool tech startup company. Just wanted to give a shout out to the entire CTA community, to the staff, to the teachers who really helped me and connected with me throughout my time at CTA. Wanted to give a special mention to Mrs. Delman, who, although she wasn't an, an official teacher of mine, uh, she was always helping me and giving me advice and helping me through the good times, through the bad times, the stressful projects, the, the college applications. So thank you, Mrs. Delman. And even after I graduated, she was always available to, to talk things through with me, to, to, to give me advice, to help me with different things, to help me with future plans. So Mrs. Delman, I really, really appreciate that. Mazel tov to CTA. Go Lions! Thank you. The auction committee has put together a great list of items up for bid tonight. Let's go over to Auction Central with Yoni Zofen and Daryl Binsky to take a look at the current status of the bidding. Thank you, Miriam. Great job so far, guys. You know, my wife Beth co-hosted uh, for the, the dinner for three years. I think that's one for each kid. So Miriam, you have about seven years to go and the Rebecca's maybe uh, four, uh, three and four more each. Good job. Yeah, they couldn't have, Shari and Rabbi Drandoff picked three perfect people to be the co-chairs. 100%. To ensure that he has, they have lasting continu continuity for many years to come. Great idea. You Great and I idea. might be kicked off the stage here next year, but that's okay. Um, you know, I want to give a public service uh, announcement on behalf of Jewish Columbus and, and really all the participating organizations throughout the Jewish community. Um, you know, we encourage everybody to donate to this event live right now. If for some reason you don't feel that you can't don donate tonight, there is an alternative. Jewish Columbus and all of the Jewish, uh, the participating organizations out of Columbus, there is an event called Life and Legacy going on right now in Columbus. This is a way for you to give to Jewish Columbus to the various organizations like CTA that you are passionate about without actually giving money right now. You will give that money after it doesn't mean anything to you. So if you have any questions about Life and Legacy, reach out to any one of the major boards that you, anyone on the boards that you belong to, reach out to Joel Markovich. He's happy to talk about it. Public service announcement. Good idea, Yoni. Good idea. And, uh, but speaking of raising money, we're doing really well tonight. Yes, I have the iPad here uh, live. On the giving $1,000 toward, towards each night of Hanukkah, we're looking for $8,000. We are proud to announce we are at $6,710. That's amazing. Right That's now. A, we're 1,300 away from the goal. 1,300 away. Uh, 13 people, my bar mitzvah age, 13 people giving $100 uh, each. Awesome. Great news. So listen, $100 when he was a bar mitzvah. That's a lot more. We're almost at my second days. bar mitzvah. Yes. Yoni. Almost there. Almost there, um, there Daryl. You want to check in with uh, the Zoom room real quick? Let's in see. The Zoom room, see what we got going on uh, in our live watch party. I believe the Binsky household is there. Let's see what's going oh, on in the Binsky that. household. They're not, they're not sleeping anymore. I got a text a few minutes ago. They were all asleep. Do we, how, many, how many Binskys do we have on there? 
Uh, uh, too many. Is, too many. Oh, there, oh, I thought one was too cool, but no, even the eighth grader has made it. Congrats. Beautiful. Welcome, Brooklyn. Beautiful. Uh, who else do we have? I see Kaylee's there. Kaylee, nice to see you rep repping the swag. Good to see. Swag's amazing. Uh, yeah. You see Eva shake in there, don't you see Eva? Yeah, Eva look, can, wait, can we go on? back to those rooms? Those are some fun rooms. I see Eliza. Eliza has not managed to, to rope up the, the rest of, this, of, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the kids. Are the Blumbergs on there? No. Yeah, Blumberg's the in the corner there. They're, they're, hey, that's one person. <laughs> Gary Blumberg might be older than you. One parent that might be older than you. I have you. it on good authority. He is. He is All right, got, much good, older good than hear. me. Um, and Yoni, why don't we take a, take a look? We've got a couple minutes here. We are auction central. Let's take a, a look at some items. So you know what, Daryl? I was just looking at, at, looking at it. I don't know how many auction items we have. I'm sure Shari could tell us immediately. But I'm really excited to say there's only eight items that have not yet received a bid. I'm pretty impressed by that. I don't know about you. Um, and, and I'm pretty sure uh, you know, the, the, the threat of the filibuster still stands. We will get a bid on every single auction item tonight. I hope so. Uh, one of the items that uh, you should take another look at is Madison Braids. Yes. I don't know if you've been to Madison Braids' website. It's amazing hair braids that any girl or progressive guy would be pleased to wear. I'm excited. Um, my favorite is the Lulu Two Strand. <laughs> and, um, but one thing that I didn't realize when I looked at that item is you get a purse just for bidding plus $150 on their site. So that's, that's well over a $250 value. Wait, and, and there's not a single bid. The, 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 the asking bid, the beginning bid is 100 bucks, and you said you get $150 right now? You get a $150 do, gift card? Do you want to go in together right now? Um, I have a vegan purse myself already, okay. being vegan, but uh, 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 maybe, maybe by the, uh, by the next segment that we're on for. Maybe I'll, next time. Maybe we'll, next we'll be putting time. a bid in ourselves. We'll, we'll look for it. Um, you know, some of these are great items. Uh, you know, don't bid on the football. Just, just saying it right now, my kids will outbid you on the football. They, they are determined to win it. If it gets above a certain price, I'm going to go out on a limb. Daryl and I did not pre-ask this. Th this football is signed by, by one, the one and only Urban Meyer. I'll tell you right now, if it gets over $200, we are going to have an additional football added. And we didn't ask Shari. We didn't ask Rabbi Dranoff. I didn't even tell Daryl about this. But we are going to have a Super Bowl champion and an Ohio State All-American add another signed football in. So it's going to be two for the price of one if this gets over $200. That's amazing. That's that, the, the buyer will be a lucky, a lucky man or woman. To be determined who that Super Bowl champion is. To be determined. He, did, he doesn't even know about it. Did, did you notice the menorah that was up for, up for uh, auction? No, eight? no. It, there's a menorah. There is a menorah there, and it has a description. You know, it's the, the steel tube. This is the description. I read it from the, from the website. The steel tubes that form the arms of the Hanukia are swaged Swaged. With open, so they're swaged open with friction. Friction, do you believe that? Friction and to create a space to hold the candle. Now, I, I, kn I know how to swage a menorah, and I'm not sure, you know, Beit Hillel says you can swage a What's menorah. What does Beit Shammai say? Beit Shammai says no, and, and I'm hoping we hold like Hillel. Uh, Me too. For, for the sake of the kosherness, I mean, the holiday's just a couple days away. Is there anything else you want to look at before so, we send them back to... Uh, you know, well, I, I didn't, but now I'm looking at my phone and I got a text message that I've been outbid on the football. So congratulations to the people outbidding us. Thankfully, we have more time. Can we check back in on the Zoom rooms for just a second, see how they're doing? Are they having as much fun as we are? The weapons are having fun. I don't see Justin. Justin, <laughs> you know, he, he's, he's a little embarrassed. It's okay. His team is, again, losing at fantasy football for the... You know, he loses about 85% of his games every single year. So tonight is Justin's one chance. If you're like Justin, right, and you lose at fantasy football religiously, week in, week out, this is your night. You can win something. All you have to do is go bid. Justin, go bid. You can win something tonight. I don't even know who he's losing to, but I know he's losing to somebody. Very good, Yoni. Well, uh... Look at that enthusiasm. Enthusiasm's great out there. Let's send it back to the main event. Absolutely. Let's okay. enjoy. Enjoy. Remember to go to toraacademy.org slash gala to get your bid in. The auction will close at 9 p.m. tonight. It has been said that the COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in at least one positive thing, a much greater appreciation of our children's teachers. Here at CTA, our appreciation for the wonderful work done by our faculty and staff is long-standing. Our teachers are passionate about their work. They are driven with innovation and caring to ensure that each and every one of our students is growing intellectually, 
socially and emotionally in a safe environment, regardless of personal sacrifice. Our students share their gratitude for the teachers in this video created by our award-winning film studies class under the dynamic leadership of Steve Guinan, who will be sharing some words with us following the video. This year, when we go and play outside, we wear our masks and school logos with pride. In our new Rosh Hashanah clothes, clean and neat, we did apples and honey so the year would be sweet. Now we are back in school at last. Washing our hands and wearing our masks. Playing our games and singing our songs. We are thankful to be back where we belong. We walk down the halls again with glee. Grateful to those who make this year all it can be. Thank you to our teachers with care and drive. Who make sure all of us students can thrive. Some things are strange, some things are new. But our teachers make sure we know what to do. They make sure we are safe every day. And remind us that everything will be okay. This year requires some extra creativity. But our teachers step up with passion and sensitivity. With the help of our teachers, their kindness and persistence. We are able to learn as well as social distance. We look to our teachers to be our guide. As we embrace our schoolwork with pride. Looking at the future for recalibration. We are lucky to have a healthy, successful education. Although this year is in a new way, we are grateful to be a CTA! Thank you, CTA. On behalf of all the teachers, past and present, I am honored to accept this recognition. In 23 years, I have seen so much change and growth, the results of the various challenges we faced over the years, but perhaps none as great as the one we faced in 2020. We teachers are humbled by the work of all of those in the CTA community, the parents, the administrators, and the medical advisory team for making our work possible. Thank you all, and a special thanks to all the families who are dedicated to a CTA education. Thank you to our Academy teachers and all the participants in the teacher video. It is now time to play a game called Kahoot. To introduce the game, here are 12th grader Saul Myers and 11th grader Yaki Liebesman. Good, Good evening. evening. I'm Saul Myers, a CTA 12th grader. And I'm Yaki Liebesman, an 11th grade student at CTA. And, and we're, we're gonna, gonna play Kahoot. Kahoot. Please click on the Purple Kahoot app uh, to participate. I'm sure you already downloaded the app, but if you haven't, you can go to kahoot.it to, uh, to type in the pin. I'm going to give you a few moments to do that right now. Uh, so, Yaki, how are you tonight? I'm doing great, Saul. How are you? Well, it's definitely been an interesting, interesting senior year because of the pandemic and everything, but I've been applying to college and looking at yeshivas to attend next year. What about you? Sounds awful, but I can't wait to do the same next year. <laughs> Once you're in the game, click on Enter Game Pin at the bottom of the screen. The number is 393-3661. Again, that is 393-3661. Coming at you a third time, 393-3661. And once you've typed in 393-3661, you can choose an awesome nickname so we can get our game started. You know, Yaki, back in my prime, back in the day, I had two favorite nicknames that I loved to choose. One was the better twin, and the other was the better Saul, as I had a twin in the class and a name buddy, Saul Bloomberg. So shout out Saul Bloomberg and shout out Dove. Okay, guys, buckle up. It's time to play Kahoot. Watch out on the screen for the questions and answers, and let's do this thing. We'll give you guys just one more moment as many people are still joining. Good luck to everybody. Let's have some fun. How's our auction doing? Maybe we can check in there. Yeah. Uh, auction's coming along. Auction's coming along. along. Going well. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go to www.toracademy.org slash gala to put in a bid right now. Let's go. Oh, yeah. So, fun fact, right now is actually the fantasy football playoffs for CTA, and I'm currently playing Rabbi Savage. And another fun fact, Rabbi Savage is actually going to lose to me in fantasy <laughs> football, as usual, as he does in most things that we compete in. Shout okay. out Rabbi Savage. Looks good. We're going to start the game now. Let's do this. Come on, CTA. Our first question is, how many current students are the children or grandchildren of graduated alumni? The answer choices are, how many current students are the children or grandchildren of graduated alumni? The answer choices are 55, 23, 41, or 36. Yaki, didn't your mom go to CTA? Yes, my mother actually did go to CTA till third grade. Luckily, I've been able to go for what is now 12 years. Did, you ever, did your mom go to CTA, Saul? Unfortunately, she did not, but I am very fortunate to be going to CTA now. OK. Whoa. The clock's winding down, and the correct answer was 41. Ooh. What an amazing fact, Saul, that the school's that the alumni bring back their children to CTA to be students. And the leader of the game, after the first question, is the oh Burns Oh my Wags. god, the Burns Wags. Let's go. All right, we got more Ronit, or Ronit, close second, and Binsky Bonanza, what a name, in third place. I think more Ronit might pull through. Let's go, all right. Second question, what is the average height of a CTA high school boy? Answers are taller than the both of us, tall enough to win some ball games, shorter than the girls, or 5'5". Five five. I'm not sure about basketball, but we are definitely tall enough to play football. Yeah, just ask Rabbi Savage about what happened in the last three turkey bowls. As I mentioned before, you can probably guess what happened since, you know, Rabbi Savage loves losing. <laughs> the correct answer is all, all of them. them. Great job to all of you for getting it right. And props to you if you managed to get it wrong. Uh-oh, Dror Zinner coming in third place now, moving past Binsky Bonanza and bon bon uh, fourth place. <laughs> and Burnswag still holding their own in first place. Our next question is, in the first grade CTA Iditarod, who is chosen to be the musher? The loudest, the lightest, the fastest or the biggest dog lover? Unfortunately, Yaki, I was not here in first grade, and I, so I wasn't able to pr participate in the CTI Iditarod, but I have heard that those bone-shaped cookies are the bomb. And the answer was the lightest. Fun fact, I was not the musher. There was actually somebody smaller than me when I was in first grade. I find that hard to believe, but we are going to move on to question number four. What teacher is famous for saying, jump on that thing? We've got Mr. Guinan, Mr. Prey, Moronit, or Mr. Kramer. We are so lucky to have such dedicated teachers. Tonight is really about honoring them. You know, Yaki, I think Moronit is a very enticing answer. You know how they say, jump on that thing in Hebrew? Jump on that thing. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Yaki, there are no better teachers than the, one we've, the ones we've got at CTA. And the correct answer is Mr. Kramer. Mr. Kramer. I know that when he gives me math work, I quickly jump on that thing. Uh-oh. The Burns Rags are still Lumbers, holding their own. let's go! Nassan! Nassan, third place! Let's go, Nassan, pull through! Minun fourth and Noah Bloomberg in fifth. Our next question is, how many CTA classes have had to quarantine between the beginning of the year and Thanksgiving? Our answer choices are zero, all 13, seven, or two. You know, I, I don't know the answer, but I do know I do feel safe in school. And surprisingly, I do feel that I'm very lucky to be in, to be in school. Although we didn't have a snow day this past Tuesday. Thank you, Rabbi Drandoff, for that one. <laughs> By the way, the roads were definitely very icy, and it was very dangerous. And the correct answer is zero. Thank you to our incredible medical team, faculty, and fellow students for making that amazing feat possible. Leah and Hara. 
Uh, uh. Nassan holding his own in third place. Bloomberg second place. Bern Burnswigs still in first place. Let's see how it goes. Get ready for the our last question. So if you're looking to make a late game push, now is the time. How many donors have given to CTA in the past year? 700, 800, 900, or 1,400? Our donors are so important to our school, especially this year. Yeah, I've heard a lot about the donors, and I know CTA is a great school. And despite being small, I hear we do get a lot of donors. That is the truth. You know, both of us have our, our donors in the past, so. Yeah. The correct answer is 1,400. What a high number. I can proudly say, as Yaki mentioned before, I have donated to CTA. It wasn't a very big number because I do not own very much money. But it was a donation, so thank you. And if someone wants to be the 1,401st donor, they only need to go to www.toracademy.org slash gala to make a donation right now. That can be you. So let's see who won the game. See Dare Scholarship Dinner Podium. Let's go in third place. We have Noah Bloomberg. In a close Five second place, it's Bloomberg with 4,802. In first place, six out of six with impeccable score, Burns Vibes. Bloomberg's came in second and third but couldn't pull through. Saul, oh my god, I wasn't even playing and I still won. Look at that. The winner receives major bragging rights and a special autographed picture of us, tonight's game show hosts. Enjoy the rest of the program. We can all take pride in how our educators, our staff, and our parents have worked together to ensure our children receive excellent and safe education without interruption. We have been able to accomplish this in large part thanks to the partnership with our parents, the dedication of our teachers, and the tremendous guidance of our volunteer medical advisory committee. To thank our medical advisory committee, it is my pleasure to ask Tor Academy parent, Aaron Rubin, to say a few words. On behalf of the parent and student body, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Medical Advisory Committee for their hard work and dedication to ensuring our children's safe return for this academic school year. While we never could have predicted we'd be living through this moment in history, I knew the CTA community would do whatever was necessary to keep us all moving forward together. What we initially thought would be two weeks has turned into many, many months. And when it became clear there would need to be very strong leadership to allow our kids to return to school safely, Rabbi Drandoff presented us with the Medical Advisory Committee. The Medical Advisory Committee is not only made up of some of CTA's best people, but we're so fortunate that these are some of Columbus's best people. To the Medical Advisory Committee, the CTA community is so lucky to call you ours. Thank you for the late night phone calls, the reassurances, and the many meetings. Because of you and your tireless efforts, our kids are safely back in school. Hey everyone, Ethan Sobel here, class of 2008. Currently calling from New York City where I am doing my ophthalmology residency. I'm currently in my last year. At the moment, I'm applying to fellowships in vitreo retinal surgery. I would like to uh, personally thank uh, CTA and the whole CTA community. Specifically, I would like to give a shout out to Mr. Guinan, uh, as well as many of my other teachers, but specifically Mr. Guinan for uh, really always pushing me to, to do more and to, to ask questions and to, to push myself to, to be challenged. And that's both, uh, both academically and uh, on the baseball field. And to really um, to keep trying new things and keep pushing yourself in spite of any challenges or uh, setbacks. So um, thank you very much. Uh, thank you to everyone. Mazel Tov CTA and uh, go Lions. It is my pleasure to welcome the chair of the CTA Medical Advisory Committee, Dr. Naomi Cortez, also known as CTA parent Naomi Myers, to speak on behalf of the committee. On behalf of the Medical Advisory Committee, Thank you for this honor. None of us realized what we were embarking on when this committee was formed. Working on this committee has just reinforced what we already knew about CTA. We have an amazing school. Both the administration and faculty have invested countless hours to make sure that our children learn in an optimal and safe environment. The faculty are teaching via Zoom, in person, and moving between the two at a moment's notice. The reality 
is the Medical Advisory Committee knows a fair amount about medicine, but very little about education. The administration has been patient with us as we try to navigate the intricacies of keeping staff and children safe while still allowing everyone to have fun and learn. We are also grateful for the community in which we live. Without the cooperation and support of the rabbis and the greater Jewish community, we would not have been able to keep the school open. This pandemic has reminded us that we are all responsible for each other and that what we do affects everyone around us. Thank you for working with us and supporting us as we try and navigate a safe way for all of us through these challenging times. Hi, my name is Abby schwartz -Kanan. I graduated CTA High School in 2001. I am a CPA and live in New Milford, New Jersey with my husband and four children who attend to Yeshiva Noah. I want to thank the amazing faculty at Columbus Tour Academy for providing me with a wonderful education. I especially want to thank Rabbi Elbaz for making it such a warm and happy environment, and Mr. Adkin for going above and beyond to prepare us for our post-high school education. I want to wish CTA a mazel tov for another wonderful school year in spite of all the challenges the pandemic has introduced. It is our pleasure to once again ask our lower school choir to help close our program with a resounding rendition of L'Shana Haba'a and Am Yisrael Chai. Choir. Before we conclude our program, let's go back to Auction Central for an update. Thanks, Miriam and that choir for an awesome performance once again. As appreciative as we are to the Medical Advisory Committee, Daryl and I are extremely appreciative, and to all first responders, we are equally thankful that doctors like Seth Hoffman and Justin Weprin have not offered their professional services to be bid on in this auction. Thank you very much, guys. We are very relieved. Saved us all. 
that does save us all some, 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 some hassle. Um, so let's go and uh, check some uh, live updates. I'm looking at my phone here and I see that uh, it's, it's amazing, first grader, you know, uh, excuse me, first grader Ellie Cosberg has scored over 100 points in fantasy football. He is beating the Binsky family. Uh, who have managed 66 points. By the way, the uh, most exciting piece about this is the Binskys are done at 66 points. Ellie Cosberg is looked to, is just, projected to get just, 141 points. Yoni, just to defend some honor here, yes. my son Evan had nothing to do with this. I played the team almost the entire year. So okay, so, hold it, so, hold so, it on so to my be account. clear, first grader Ellie Cosberg, who, by the way, does know more about sports than, you know, Saul and and Yaki, and you and I combined, <laughs> um, uh, is beating you sufficiently. Uh, fun, Congratulations. Fun news here. Saul Myers and I are both twins. We, we clearly sit in the, in the better seat and the better half of the twins, so it's all very exciting. It's a good thing. Yes. Uh, you want to check in with uh, our, our tote board? Oh, well? let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, the, uh, the tote board right now. Let me see okay. the number. I, I think... I, I, I'm not 100%, but I think it's at 8,120. We have blown past the $8,000 goal. That is amazing. Awesome Thank job, you. CTA. Well Thank done. You. Thank well you. done. But I am, I am shameless, Yoni. Oh, I think yes. we're going for the 12 days of Christmas. Yes. I think, I think $12,000. Yes. And, and you know what? One for each of the days of Christmas. You know what? I'm not, sh I'm not shy of going full Ramadan on this one. 30 days. 30 days. 30 we days. can do it. So let's get to that $12,000. All right, CTA, we can do this. We will not let you go. We realize it's been almost an hour, but we have just a little bit more to talk about. All right. So, you know, the, it, what's been really cool seeing this, this virtual program for the first time for me is, is all of the the alumni, and, and you and I are both alumni, right? We're both eighth grade alumni, you of 86, me of 96. We are a different generation, it's okay. Um, but you know, I've actually been on some text messages with the uh, class of 96, and they are challenging the class of 86. Um, the class of 96 wants me to remind everybody that in, in high school year 2000, uh, they, we did win the, the, the Athletic Lead of Private School Championship. Um, it, it, it was kind of a big deal back then. I know Eddie's not here to talk about it, so I, I'll take his place. We did, and, and Daryl, can I tell you what when the motto we were, was? When we were there, basketball wasn't even invented, so oh, right? like we really had oh, no chance. Okay, so we, we had the three-point line by the time we got to CTA. Three-point line. Yes, the three-point line. Yeah, I we don't used know if a rock, heard of this. Yoni, a so, rock. Oh, the, okay. <laughs> so, so Yaki and I both like the three-pointers. So anyway, the, the logo, the, the motto at the time when we were in CTA, you'll love it. You better go to shul and pray you don't play CTA. <laughs> so I challenge the entire class of 19, 8th grade class of 96 to out-donate the 8th grade class of 86. I'm confident we can do it. Well, we, as, as I've, I've heard before on a debate stage, we won't hold your youth and inexperience against you guys. Let's see what happens. We'll let, the, we'll let, we'll let Shari be the uh, decider of, of the results. Speaking of Shari... We owe Shari a phenomenal thank you. I think I speak on behalf of the entire CTA community when I say thank you to Shari Herzagi for all that she has done tonight. We also, we, we need to add a couple more people. There's a lot a more, more people. people but we'll There's a lot of people behind this event. It could not be possible. You know, Daryl and I, obviously, but... But Shauna Bagelman and Ariella Nudis, they put this auction together. They are behind the scenes doing everything to make this auction successful. Thank you to them for their work and to you all for bidding. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, thank you uh, from, from us as well. And why don't we uh, check out real quick uh, 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 some, some more auction items. There's still stuff that has not been bid on. Yeah, I think hold, while we're doing that, Shari desperately wants it. I, I'm looking off to my side, and Shari is desperately motioning to say something. So, Shari, do you have an update for us live? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So... So, it's just her know, natural excitement, Yoni. She's always... Darryl, always. Darryl, I was looking through some of these packages, and I must say... Um, some of the, there's a lot of cooking packages out there, and they're very exciting. And, and, and I got to be honest, guys, we, I think those cooking packages, the upper school parents should be desperately looking at them right now, all right? Uh, one more thing. The auction doesn't close until 9 o'clock. So we may or may Good not point. be on until 9 o'clock. We'll see how much time we have. But the auction is open until 9 o'clock. If you see something you like, there are a lot of buy it now features. It's just like Amazon. You can click buy it now and it, it comes instantly. So take advantage of it. But anyway, upper school parents, these, 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 uh, these cooking packages, they, they should be right up your alley. I had the one and only Yaki Liebesman at my house for most of the summer. He hung out with my boys day over day for, for many weeks. It was great. He does a phenomenal job at baking chocolate chip cookies. It's nice. But grilled cheese making, 
buttering the, the bread and flipping it, he could use a little work. So, parents of, of, of upper school kids, I do think this is the, the, the items for you. You can get these kids help when they babysit. It's helpful if they can flip a grilled cheese. I understand he can make cookie from scratch, cookies from scratch, but we need, we need some, some grilled cheese flipping. So, bid away, have fun. Also, uh, an item that was, uh, was unbid on uh, last time I checked was the Abby Sophia Photography Package. It's a, a Zoom class. Um, that's from our, uh, another uh, alumnus, uh, Abby Wasserman. Um, so if you're in search of a, a bar or bat mitzvah gift, what a great thing to a student who likes photography. Get them some Zoom photography lessons, especially for someone like myself who may be better off behind the camera than in front of it. Oh, don't, don't, don't sell yourself short. Short. <laughs> intentionally used. Thanks, Yoni. Um, All right, so can I talk about one auction item I'm seeing here? You know, I think this is a highlight one. I'm not sure where it's at right now. I, I, there's a lot of stuff on the screen, and we, we're happy that everyone's bidding. Um, scotch with Rabbi Trandoff, right? This is an awesome experience. I do think there's, there's potential. Maybe it stays next year. Maybe it gets reimagined next year. But I got to say, I think there should be texting lessons from Rabbi Drandoff as one of the auction items. The guy is better at texting than any high schooler I know. And you know, you mentioned $1,000 for each of the eight days of Hanukkah, maybe $1,000 for each of the eight, 12 nights of Christmas. Great. I think next year we're going to do $1,000. Every $1,000 that's donated, Rabbi Drandoff who's in the, in, the, in the audience tonight, has no idea he's going to do this. But next year, since he's so good at text messages, he's going to do a live TikTok for every $1,000 that is donated. So it's, it's going to be great. He, he, he's, he's, mastered, he's mastered text messaging. He's going to teach us all about it. TikTok is his next adventure. I, I think you're right, Yoni. I would love to see that man on a TikTok screen. Um, one more thing I wanted to highlight in the auction before we uh, take it back to the main event is uh, the Frank LaRose visit. Now, this is an amazing yes. opportunity to have the Secretary of State of the State of Ohio, the guy in charge of Ohio's elections, in your pocket. That's right. Um, uh, if you need to fix a local race, or better yet, rig a presidential run, uh, you want to buy yourself some quality time with this man who holds all the ballots. So try to bid up that Frank LaRose auction item. Uh, and do you have that, anything that, that, else? That's, that's an awesome point, Daryl. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm looking, I've got it on my iPad. I'm a little more technical. Let, let's show them what we're looking at. Here's what the class of 96 looks at. I have notebook paper. Here's what the class of 86 looks that at. That Shari let me borrow. All right, good job. So, Daryl, what I can tell you live, the Shah and Sin Shahs is at $2,600 right now. That's unbelievable. That, that's great, great work. I don't know who it is, but thank you very much. Awesome job. There are other awesome items out here. This, there's a suit out here, guys. This needs to keep going. We need, we need to bid this suit up. It's, a, it's fair market value, according to, the, to eBay, $1,000. It's, uh, it's a great, five hundred and twenty right now. Come great, on, this is, this is a steal. We, we've got stuff out there that, that phenomenal events. The schmoo, does, 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 does Rabbi Drandoff know how much his scotch and schmooze is going for right now? I know he's too busy texting, but it's six hundred and thirteen dollars. Wow! That's how much it's gone for. Well wow. done, Rabbi Drandoff. Wow, that's worth every penny. You awesome know, you, job. You want? I think we have got to get back to the to the main event. Okay. If unless you have anything else, I well, just can, want. Can I just we want see the Zoom room again. I, I want to first thank uh, our corporate sponsors. So many, so many of our corporate sponsors who helped us raise more than six figures. Six figures in addition to tonight's Hanukkah goal. Um, it's amazing, a testament to all of our supporters and friends out there in the community. And I also want to thank the three, gin the three dinner chairs. Yes, absolutely. Uh, who did an amazing job this year. And, and I hear yes. I wasn't at the dinner last year. We were out of town. But last year, amazing, amazing job. Mir Miriam Gisser, Rebecca Schwartz, and Rebecca Lefkowitz, thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, let's check out the Zoom room for 10 seconds before we head back to the main event, see how everyone's doing. The Burnswags are celebrating their win by texting. Good job, Burnswags. Well done. <laughs> that, that's a great Kahoot win. I see teachers in the room. Yeah, Sh look at that. Sherry well, Friedman. more Sherry's in there. Look Woo. at that. That was an awesome display, Sherry. Mazel tov oh, on your choir. Oh, she's got the wine. Oh, we, ha we, we, have the we have the bourbon on the side also. Good job, Sherry. Um, the teachers, do, do all the teachers have scotch and, and bourbon and wine? Because I think you guys deserve it. Do the teachers have it? There yes, we go. there, there we go. go. Good job, up. teachers. Kaylee, you too. You deserve it too. 
There it is. Everybody's got, got it. The, the Schumanns are still repping the swag. Great to see. Nobody got the hat in the Schumann household. I think that was the way to celebrate the, to, to, to end the fight was we give it away. Give it All away. Right, we're getting, Daryl, we're, we're, we're getting, getting the hook. We're getting the, the hook. We're getting the wrap it up. I think they're sick of us. So, we, uh, we, so let's, we'll let's sign go. off. Let's go we, to the main event. We have just one, a couple more minutes to, to sign off on the main event. Yep. Couple Thank you, more everybody, minutes left. for donating tonight. Thank you. On behalf of my co-chairs, we want to say thank you to all of our sponsors, volunteers, and Torah Academy faculty and staff for your help in making tonight's virtual event a success. Special thanks to our CTA parents. Thank you for trusting Torah Academy with your most valuable asset, your children, and for your partnership during these unusual times. Lishana Habaa Biz CTA. May we all be together next year. Good night.